Scaling Up H2O is the proud sponsor of the Scaling Up H2O podcast today. How about that? We're sponsoring our own show, and I hope that you have stopped by our virtual booth at the AWT Virtual Exhibit Hall. Folks, we've got a little bit of something for everybody. We're going to teach some people things that they don't know about the Scaling Up H2O podcast. We're going to teach you some things about what we do in the Rising Tide Mastermind. And we're going to show people that have a product or service that will work well with the Scaling Up H2O podcast that maybe this is a great place for them to advertise. I'm also doing some live events at the booth, so maybe you can stop by for one of those. So uh, I'm there right now, and I hope you stop by our booth at the AWT Virtual Convention. Welcome to Every Water Treater's favorite podcast, Scaling Up H2O, the podcast where we scale up our knowledge so we don't scale up our systems. Coming to you live from the Association of Water Technologies Virtual Convention. Well, as live as we can be at a virtual convention. This is Scott Slade of Atlanta's Morning News. It is my pleasure to introduce the host of this podcast and this year's recipient of the Association of Water Technologies Ray Baum Memorial Water Technologist of the Year Award, Trace Blackmore. Scott, thank you so much for that introduction. Now, for those of you that live in the Atlanta, Georgia area, you have heard that voice for 20 plus years. That is Scott Slade a great friend of mine. Uh, he and I met scuba diving. I am his scuba diving instructor. And what a heck of a nice guy. I'm always talking about being a mentor and getting a mentor for somebody else. Well, folks, that is what Scott is to me. Scott learned uh, because I told him that I did a podcast and he has been in broadcasting for quite a while. I think he recently told me he's been involved in broadcasting for 50 years. I told Scott that I did not have a background in that. And he said, well, hey, let me help you. He came over to my office, helped me turn it into a studio, helped me with equipment. He has just been fantastic. So Scott, thank you for all that you do. Thank you for having me sound better on Scaling Up H2O. Nation, as you can tell from the introduction, this is going to be a different show from what we normally do. And I am really excited about this show. I have information to share with you on this show, and I, I just can't wait. So I'm going to introduce another friend of mine. You actually heard him earlier in September on episode 154. It's this year's president of the Association of Water Technologies, Tom Brandbold. It's my distinct pleasure to present this year's Ray Baum Memorial Water Technologist of the Year Award to my good friend, Trace Blackmore. Trace, congratulations. Tom, thank you so much for presenting me with the Ray Baum Memorial Water Technologist of the Year Award. I can't tell you how humbled I am, and I just I just want to thank you. And I, I want to let the Scaling Up Nation know that it is such a privilege for me to announce this award, that I'm getting this with you, the Scaling Up Nation. I feel that this is our award, and I know you might be wondering, what does it mean to receive the Ray Baum Memorial Water Technologist of the Year Award. So to talk a little bit about that, here's my good friend, James McDonald. Hello, Trace. This is James McDonald, and I want to personally congratulate you on receiving the 2020 Ray Baum Memorial Water Technologist of the Year Award. This award recognizes outstanding entrepreneurial spirit and contributions to the field of water treatment. With all you do for us, from training to this very podcast, you certainly embody what this award is all about, Trace. As the 2013 past recipient of this award myself, I am proud to have you join our group where we get to stand alongside such greats as Bob Cavano, Art Friedman, Ben Bafardi, Colin Frayne, Jack Seust, 
Jim Scott, Rob Ferguson, and many more, going back annually to 1991, starting with Chuck Brandvold. Getting that call from the AWT president telling you that you've been chosen to receive the Ray Baum Award is a surreal moment you'll never forget. Being a peer-nominated award, people thought highly enough of you to nominate you, and the AWT board has enough faith in you to choose you. Revel in that moment, Trace. I'm sorry we couldn't all get together this year in person to shake your hand, pat you on the back, and say good job. But hopefully this message will help make up for that a little. Good job, Trace. Well earned and well done. Congratulations. James, thank you for that. I think we all have a little better understanding of what the award is. And again, I am just extremely humbled to be in the group of people that James mentioned. And I have to say that I am always about mentors. You heard from one of my mentors that introduced me on the show today. Well, I have water treatment mentors as well, and I'm going to go ahead and name them because they are both recipients of the same award, and that is Bruce Ketrick Sr. and Jay Farmery. Bruce and Jay saw me when I was a very young water treater, and I have to tell you, I was very intimidated by both of them. And as luck would have it, when I sat down to eat lunch at an AWT function, I had Jay to my left and Bruce to my right. And Bruce just came out with a question saying like, hey, what do you think? Give me your whole story about what do you think is going on here? And they just started having a dialogue with me. From there, I was very impressed with what they've been able to do in their career, the amount of knowledge that they had. And I realized that I had an opportunity to learn from them. And I asked them both if they would mentor me. Of course, they both said yes. And I, again, am so humbled to be amongst who people that I consider mentors and and share that same award. So we're not together because this is a virtual convention this year for the Association of Water Technologies. So I'm now going to share with you my acceptance speech to the Ray Baum Memorial Water Technologist of the Year Award. I'm honored to accept the Ray Baum Memorial Water Treater of the Year Award. Finally, something good from the year 2020. I'm excited to accept this award, and I'm also excited to be a water treater. In this crowd, we all know what that term means but we all have different definitions of that term. Today, I'm gonna share with you how I came to define the term water treater. We all start this job in some way. For me, it was my father that introduced me to water treatment. I remember being five years old and burning my hand on his hot plate as he was running tests. Probably not the best childcare, I also remember him having me run titrations at the kitchen table when I was in middle school. I remember him hiring me as a service technician when I finished high school and feeling incredibly overwhelmed. And I remember him taking that overwhelmed feeling and teaching me everything that he knew about water treatment. My dad was the first to help me personally define the term water treater. Beside my dad stand many other water treaters that have given me their time to help me throughout the years. I call them my mentors. These mentors poured into me when they didn't have to. These mentors challenged me to think more and to do more. These mentors also help shape my personal definition of the term water treater. And it was also these mentors who encouraged me to volunteer for the Association of Water Technologies. As an AWT volunteer, I learned more about water treatment. I learned more about business. And I learned that AWT was an endless well for friendships. In fact, some of my most cherished friendships are with people I met here at AWT. So AWT has helped me define the term water treater. 
Three years ago, I started a podcast called Scaling Up H2O with one mission, to raise the bar of the water treatment industry. That podcast grew wildly popular within our community and soon had its own following called the Scaling Up Nation. After a few episodes of the podcast were aired, I started getting messages from people who were not enjoying their jobs, but were now suddenly enjoying their jobs again. They said the Scaling Up H2O podcast gave them a push to try new things, to learn new things, and to actually push themselves. It was at that time I realized that I was giving back to others what my father and my mentors gave to me. Today, the Scaling Up Nation is over 12,000 members strong in 72 countries. A few of those members have joined the Rising Tide Mastermind group I started a group that was formed on the premise that we will make each other better, and as we do that, we elevate ourselves. That was the secret my father and my mentor showed me through the gift of their time. With the Scaling Up H2O podcast, the members of the Scaling Up Nation, and the members of the Rising Tide Mastermind, I continue to enhance my definition of the term water treater. As I think of all the people that made it possible for me to receive the Ray Baum Memorial Water Treater of the Year Award, I would like you to think of all the people in your life that help you define the term water treater. This award is a symbol of all the things you do in your career that allow you to become a better water treater. It's a symbol of all the people who build other water treaters up because that's how they build up the industry. It's a symbol that we all have a definition of the term water treater. And even though those definitions might be a little bit different, we all have to discover what that term means for ourselves. And if we do it right, we should never have to do it alone. Thank you so much for this award. Hi, Mark Lewis here, the most requested guest of Scaling Up H2O, the podcast for water treaters by water treaters where we're scaling up on knowledge we don't scale up our customer systems. I want to take you back to 2005, Palm Springs, California, the AWT's annual convention and exposition. And that's where I met Trace Blackmore. Trace was energetic, active, involved, attending the sessions, meeting the people, and having a great time. But it wasn't until 2006 at the convention in Charlotte where Trace and I got to know one another. We got to be friends. We started talking, we made phone calls, we connected well. And as our careers progressed, we got involved in AWT together. We both served on the AWT Board of Directors and we now uh, present at the AWT's technical training in the Fundamentals and Applications class. Not only professionally, but Trace and I engage in personal functions as well. Trace taught me to scuba dive. And every year, sometimes twice a year, we go down to the Florida Keys and have a great time scuba diving. If I had to describe Trace, I would say busy. Trace is always doing something. And normally that something is something to make either himself or other people better. Trace's philosophy is a rising tide raises all ships. If we use that as a metaphor and we look at the ocean as the water treatment industry and us water treaters as the ships, as the tide comes up, so do all the water treaters. So Trace's idea is to raise the tide so that all of us can be better water treaters. And so that's why I'm proud to congratulate Trace Blackmore as the 2020 recipient of the Ray Baum Memorial Water Technologist of the Year. Congratulations, Trace. Hi, Trace. It's Bernadette Combs here. It seems like just yesterday you were calling to welcome me to the AWT Board of Directors. That's been 10 years ago now. And during that 10 years, if I could use one word to describe you, it would be admirable. Admirable that you continue to set goals for yourself to be a lifelong learner and teach others in the water treatment community. In that, You've helped lift all of us to be lifelong learners. On behalf of the Scaling Up Nation, the AWT community, 
and my team here at IWE, I'd like to congratulate you on being this year's Ray Baum Award recipient. You really live the essence of this award. Congratulations. Trace, congratulations. Nobody embodies the ideals that this award represents more than you. Your efforts truly have made the industry better. Keep up the good work. Because I don't think there's any rule that says you can only win this award once. Hi, my name is Chris Kersey and I work with Trace Blackmore. Uh, one phrase I can use to describe him is out of the box thinking. So uh, Scaling Up is, is a great example of this where uh, we have a water treatment podcast of all things. Um, who would have thought that was coming? But uh, out of the box thinking has influenced uh, my life directly uh, in my career. Uh, working with Trace, I get to experience a lot of the ideas and um, uh, different ways of thinking and things that we can do. Um, and then get, get to implement those uh, with him and the rest of the team. Ultimately, Trace, um, I'm proud of the work that you've done uh, with Scaling Up. And now that you're, uh, you're being recognized for it through the Ray Baum Award, uh, congratulations on it. I'm pleased to, to work for you and to uh, experience this with you. So um, keep doing what you do. And uh, congratulations once again. Trace, congratulations on the Ray Baum Award. To be honest, I'm a bit surprised it's uh, taken this long, given everything that you have done for the industry already. Um, I can't think of a more worthy recipient this year, especially with uh, scaling up the past several years. You've always been a great mentor to me, and now uh, you get to be a mentor to thousands of your listeners, and I think that's great, and what you're doing is going to make a huge impact long-term on the industry. So congratulations. You deserve it, and keep doing great things. Hello, I'm Bruce Ketrick with Guardian CSC in York, Pennsylvania. And I have the great privilege of congratulating Trace Blackmore on receiving the 2020 Ray Baum Award for Water Technologist of the Year. As a Ray Baum recipient, and most of the others that have will attest to this, this is a very, very rewarding and humbling experience because it comes from your peers. I would like to congratulate Trace for all of his contributions to our industry as a member of the board of directors, past president, and one of the crucial trainers in the technical training course. Trace as a person is always full of energy, always available, and is always trying to improve things. And as such, I would like to thank Trace for all he's done as a friend, as an associate, and as a teacher, because Trace is the kind of person that this industry needs for us to continue to grow and prosper. Again, congratulations, Trace, on an award well-deserved. Hey, Trace, it's your buddy, Mark Jewell. Hey, ever since I've known you for about 14 years now, I have to say I've been impressed with your passion for our industry. You started with this passion uh, on committees within the AWT, took that to being president, leading that organization, which was wonderful, uh, developing the Water Alliance, developing the seed group within the AWT, for future water treaters and to bring them on board. And then of course, uh, the wonderful work that you're doing with your podcast, the only podcast for us water treaters, uh, bringing us into community and also the mastermind groups, which also bring us into community as well. You're always on the leading edge uh, of what, what's going on within our industry and bringing us together. You've been a great force for that. And so we both know most of the people that have won this award over the years and they're exceptional and you are no exception to being exceptional. Uh, congratulations, my friend. Nation, again, I want to thank you for sharing this experience with me. This has been incredible. It's been incredible that we can do this on the podcast. And I know during this COVID time, we're always thinking about things that we can't do. And today, this is something that's happened that we were able to actually celebrate here on the podcast. We would have never been able to do that if we had the live event. So I promise you there is a silver lining with everything if you know where to look for it. In fact, I have a paper that I did with Scranton Associates' Jill Cavano where we are speaking about things that we've learned this year with the pandemic. For those of you that joined us with our webinar series, you know we did 13 webinars and we had subject matter experts come on to help give us information so we can make better decisions during 
the pandemic, of course, we're still, of course, suffering through the pandemic, but we're smarter now because we have experience and we have people that know the answers, at least as good as the answers can be because we know everything changes tomorrow. So navigate over to the agenda at the AWT virtual conference, and you will see a paper entitled Navigating the Pandemic While Innovating for the Future. I think you'll get a lot of tips and things that we learned and continue to learn throughout this pandemic. And if you can't find that, you can go to our booth where we're going to put a link to that so you can go straight to it from there. We'll also have a PDF downloadable document with all of the resources that we mentioned during that presentation. So you don't have to worry about taking notes. We mentioned a lot of things. You can get them all right there and just click to where you need to go. Speaking of where you need to go, next year, the AWT is having their annual convention and exposition in Providence, Rhode Island. So it is my hope that we are now able to get together and we can see each other in person. Who knows what the future brings? The one thing I do know is that we are getting smarter with dealing with this pandemic as we experience it. So whatever the future holds, we will experience it and we will endure it well. And the challenge that I have for you, because I know many of you have just learned about the Ray Baum Memorial Water Technologist of the Year Award, is who's going to be next year's recipient? folks. My goal with this podcast is to raise the bar in the water treatment industry. And I know without a doubt, we have done that because I have heard from you, the Scaling Up Nation, tell me that very thing. And that tells me that you are out there and you're doing things better. You're making sure that we are leaving our industry better than it was when we found it. So is the award winner next year going to be you? And there's no reason that it can't be. So I challenge you not to get an award, but each and every day, what are you doing to make the industry better? And that, I think, is what I have in common with all of the people that came before me that accepted the Ray Baum Memorial Water Treater of the Year Award. Nation, as I have said throughout this episode, this has been extremely exciting for me. I've heard from so many people that I I can't thank all the people that congratulated me. Uh, That means so much to me. So, Folks, thank you for listening. Thank you for all the people that uh, contributed to this episode. This episode was just incredible. I hope you enjoyed it too. And we are coming to you next week, each and every day. So we're going to continue the celebration all the way through next week, but we're not celebrating my award next week. We are celebrating that we are industrial water treaters. Each and every day, we are going to do something different for Industrial Water Week. We're going to celebrate pre-treatment on Monday, boilers on Tuesday, cooling on Wednesday, wastewater on Thursday, and careers on Friday. We're going to do this a little bit different than we've done in years past. I know you are going to have fun each and every day. Folks, we are going to make this so much fun. You're going to hashtag your pictures each and every day to IWW20, and we can see how all of us in the Scaling Up Nation are celebrating. And I'm going to give you some fun things to do throughout the week. So we're going to have fun with this. Join me on Monday where we kick off the celebration. Folks, have a great weekend, and I will talk to you Monday. Monday.